They'll certainly be running early with Olga Louisa drawn gate number one. They're off and they're racing. She flew out from the inside. Olga Louisa, sneaky chance, jump quickly. Also going up here now is Mood Swings. Rockinori got out of the gates very well. Pushing up River Bow on the inside soon after the start from Kia Aura Star. Multiverse found itself wide. Our wind spirit is next. Now getting back after the start behind those sneaky chance, the tail ender goes to walks. Inside the 600, Olga Louisa now races up on the inside inside to go to the lead three quarters of a length in front before the turn mood swings riverboat trails those down on the inside of rock and Ori, who's nice and prominent over on the outside all day session and they're followed by back near the inside at the top of the straight our wind spirit by the 250 she's wobbled away from the fence olga louisa from mood swings riverboat got the beautiful inside run coming at olga louisa it's riverboat on the inside olga louisa mood swings rock and Ori, riverboat mood swings rock and Ori. They'll split it. Great go. Give it to Riverbow. I think Riverbow might have just scrambled in here from either Mood Swings or Rock and Ori. Kia Ora Star is right behind those and our win spirit as well. Olga Louisa all day session, followed then by Ghost Who Walks. A gap multiverse, sneaky chance amongst the last home. Riverbow, number three, Stephen Parnham on the inside tracked up ideally Olga Louisa wobbling out off the fence the dives were coming there was lime green everywhere in the finish and holding on River Bow from either mood swings in the middle or rock and Ori here on the outside little between them here three two Five ten are the numbers. River Bow wins first up. Stephen Parnham with the double. The Bruce Watkins train gilding enjoying a sweet trip all the way. He was presented with a magnificent inside run there as Olga Louisa just wobbled off. He would have flown a 747 through the opening. Stephen capitalizing upon that. Mood swings, it battled hard. And Rock and Ori certainly did lift under heavy pressure on the outside and was coming all day session behind those Kia Aura star not far from them with Olga Louisa as well the surprise about this is the price ten dollars remarkable for the way the horse had trialed recently 5803 at home in 3384 a half a head of nose in another epic finish here we've seen quite a few this afternoon Riverbow by Snippet Sun out of Peggy's Louise for Bruce Watkins and uh, also Mrs. P. Buglehull, trained by Bruce Watkins in the southwest. A winning double today for Stephen Parnham, almost a treble, just missing out with the previous race today. And a vampire play, just uh, failing in her efforts to win first up. But Steve's given this an absolute dream. Second home, Mood Swings, a war chance, Scarlet Storm gilding for George Dupre. Raced by Barry Evans, trained by Kesh Duran, and Rock and Ori third in an awesome rock. Nishikawa gelding now for Grant and Alana Williams and ridden by Paul Harvey. The eighth is the Furphy handicap. 1400, Jordan Turner on number six advanced. Emergencies aren't required. Capacity field 16 running. Well, Britt will take it down there with you. Hardly a shock to see this horse get home. The big surprise was the fact that he's gone around at double figures first up as Bruce Watkins joins you in the winner's enclosure. Someone who will not be mad about the double figures that was on offer for this horse, Bruce Watkins joins me. Bruce, talk us to us about the preparation for this horse because this time, different to last preparation, you were able to get two trials in. Yeah, that's right. Like We had a heap of setbacks with him last prep and just never got him right at any stage whereas this time everything's gone to plan he's got the two trials into him which I think he needs because I can't race him at Belmont so he has a long break and um, yeah with the barrier and the speed from one well I thought it was a good race for him. With not racing at Belmont is it just a case of he doesn't go there do you put it down to anything? Yeah the whole family like even Danny Bow and Charlie none of them went any good at Belmont and he had one start at Belmont and one last so yeah I, I just try and keep him on top of the ground and um, that seems to be where the family run the best and but in all fairness this is probably his race today and it's going to be tough now because he's he, there's no race he only runs a thousand 
max 11, so he's pretty much got to go into black tight races, which he's probably not quite good enough for. So It's a little bit tricky in terms of the placement. It's lucky you've got today's victory. When you had your discussions with Steve Pan and pre-race, was it a bit of an idea that you thought that Olga Louisa may roll off the uh, rail at the top of the straight? Yeah, well, Stephen, like, obviously, he hadn't ridden for me before, but he'd done his homework. I didn't need to tell him anything, and he had it worked out, and this time it went to plan, so it was great, too. Yeah. One of the best form students uh, in the jockey's room, I would suggest. Well done on the win. Thank you. There is Bruce Watkins. Over to Steve Parnham. Riverbow here today. First up off the back of two trials, Stevie Parnham picks up the ride. What did you know about Riverbow? Uh, not a lot apart from what I could do, my, my form watching the replays. So try to get the best of knowledge I could. I remember his barrier antics from previous races that I've been against him, but never sat on him. So a little bit of a learn through and um, yeah, we got it right. How was he out of the barriers? Uh, he goes in late, so we, we didn't spend a lot of time in there, which was helpful. Um, yeah, you wouldn't want to be too long in there, I don't think. You probably knew before the race Olga Louisa would be the leader, and you probably always saw yourself in the box seat. Yeah, it wasn't too hard to work out this race. I, um, plan like you said, planned exactly that. And I, I noticed Olga Louisa can lay out sometimes, so I was sort of uh, watching it through the run and, and could see he was sort of going to do that. So I banged on staying on the, on the rail, and um, only fair that I, I want to race up the rail after getting beat by another horse that did the same to me last, start, last what, race. What about Vampire play in the previous? She looked like she was uh, probably a, a, a bit of an unlucky run, couldn't quite get out when you wanted to, but a good run nonetheless. Yeah, exactly that. I was obviously a bit disappointed uh, that we didn't win because I felt like um, mid-race we, we lost our spot when the horse I was following give up, give up the breeze. So it put me in an awkward position. She did a really good job to, to run where she did. Um, yeah, I just run into a horse that obviously has some mobility but got a lot of luck along the way. Undefeated top of the pops goes around in the three-year-old classic. Are you looking forward to teaming up with him? Oh, definitely really uh, grateful to pick up the ride. Um, and, yeah, looking forward to the opportunity. It may be a little bit on the short side, but you never know. A uh, horse that has quality can sometimes finish over him late. Best of luck. Cheers. Thank you. There is Stephen Parnham. Brings up another winner today and does so in the form of Riverbow for Brucey e. Watkins. Defeats Mood Swings and Rockinori in a busy finish. 3, 2, 5 and 10, the numbers from the 7th.